Hello everyone! Ah! Bienvenidos! Bienvenidos! Welcome to the Divine Diva Universe. Welcome to this space. Welcome to this environment. If you're new, welcome! My name is V and in this video we are going to be talking about the power of change perspective. Now before I get into the video, I have to share something with you all. So the first thing I want to say is the fact is that life will be constantly happening it will be constantly moving there will be constantly experiences happening for us to us and a lot of the time these experiences or these circumstances create beliefs within you and then these same beliefs are the filters that you pass all your actions, decisions, and behavior through. One of my personal example, when I was, I was very, I was like 15 years old. When I was 15 years old, I remember I was just freaking confused about my surroundings. I felt like the richest girl in the world, but in my reality, it was ghetto. Everything was ghetto. The people was ghetto. But, uh, girl, I was living in one of the most ghetto neighborhood in Aruba. Period. And I was, I had to walk to school every day because, you know, the situation, whatever. And I hated walking to school. I hated it. I hated it. So, I remember this one day. I was just like, oh my God, you know what? I'm just going to make this shit work for me. And I open up my diary and I start writing like all of like how much I don't didn't like my environment, my surrounding, the things that I was seeing and the fact that I had to walk to school every day. And I know that may not be the most um, first world problem, but it was for me. And I just started writing there like, you know what, how can this, how can I view this differently? How can I view this as a benefit? And I start writing and journaling on how I can view this differently. And I remember I made a promise to myself that day that I, from that day forward, I will walk to school as if during that walk something amazing is gonna happen for me and I'm gonna receive the opportunity of my life. It was like I decided that. That was the decision, honey. Nobody can tell me anything. And I started walking to school feeling like, I was feeling just excited. I was feeling like, oh my God, something amazing is gonna happen in this walk. And I'll be looking at the flowers and I'm like, ah, this is so beautiful. Like I would try to find beauty within my walk and just feeling the excitement of something amazing is gonna happen. I'm gonna meet somebody, I'm gonna see something. Like just, I cannot wait to arrive to school because it's gonna be fucking amazing for me. I started working every day with that energy. In a few months, I was walking the same route every day. In a few months, one day there was this company in the corner, in a corner of the street that I had to walk through. And there was this black woman standing there. And she saw me and she was like, hey, you. She called me, come, come like she called me and I, I was so confused i was like what the fuck why is she calling me what is happening here and i went to her and she was like are you looking for a job <laughs> and i was i was i was i was so shocked i didn't know what to say. i was like um uh yeah and she's like how old are you can you work i'm like okay i'm 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 like six five fifteen sixteen and she was like, have you ever worked as a waitress? And I'm like, um, no, but I can try, like, you know, I'm, I can do it. And she's like, okay, like, she was like, okay, go home, get all your papers, let your parents sign this document that they allow you to work, da da da, and then come back and bring it before five, because the, the place closed at five, and, um, um, I'll sign you up and you can't work today, but don't worry. I have a few jobs working So you I have a few jobs coming so we, you can start working 
and she told me like you have to buy this and this you know for the uniform of like waitress and i was like what the hell it was on a random day i was it was two o'clock you know in the 40 degree sun baby i was burning <laughs> and walk in there and i see this lady like screaming to me and then it was a, it was the craziest thing because it was just like a job she literally gave me a job opportunity and i was already i was looking for a job but i it was i never expected for it to happen like this i was applying at other stores trying to work between two till five because of school and all these things and nada nothing me nothing was happening little did i know because there was a bigger and better opportunity for me and you see how something that i didn't like which was walking to school because of the surroundings and the environment i i disliked it so much but i decided one day that i'm, I'm gonna change the perspective i'm gonna make this work in my favor and i'm gonna make it work and I walked with that excitement every day to school even though when I arrived school I was like already over it because you know people be weird but that that walk became such a it almost became instead of me now hating it it became the thing that I enjoy doing the most because I could just go deep into my fantasy of how freaking amazing something great is gonna happen for me like i'm so excited <laughs> let me just keep walking because like you know i don't know when it's gonna happen but it's gonna happen so let me just like go with it like that's how i was feeling and long story short that is when i start working as a waitress ballroom um it was like only on see it was seasonal job and from there i went to i started working with the company as an administrator the same company that the same agency the same recruiting agency and then from there i leveled up to a recruiting agent and from there like it would just keep on escalating and that is something that i will be talking about in my summer of lights that is coming in july but you see how the power of making things work for you even the things that you don't like and i really wanted to reflect what can this teach me what benefit can this bring to me and me, the question that really helped during that time was what how can this benefit me how can this walk benefit and the first thing that came up was like feeling healthy, ta -ta -ta, feeling good, ha having like, you know, my, my nervous system working well because I'm taking certain walks. But also just thinking of like an, opp an amazing opportunity is going to come for me from this. Like I was imagining stuff that none of it happened, but I didn't care because it felt just so good. It was about changing how i feel about that situation changing the fact that i disliked walking to school but i'm gonna make this work because i have to walk to school there ain't no one other way so i might as well change this in my favor so this is the video guys that i wanted to share with you all in the in the sense of the power of the changing perspective and making things work for you and um, I've created a specific journaling prompt process to do this because this is something that I started doing at 15 years old and then a few years later I was like as I learn new things I perfect it I craft it and I add some like I'm in a point right now that I even have meditation and affirmation add into this specific process which I will be teaching in um, summer of lights <laughs> that's coming in july so make sure that you subscribe to the diva newsletter because there you will receive all of the notifications magical monday live stream and all information that you will need for this but in this video i just wanted to share this with you all because even even if you have this information and you decide right now okay i'm gonna use this right now for whatever it is you don't like 
oh my god everything in your life is gonna change like genuinely and you have to do this from a space of like you don't have to be rational with it don't be rational of thinking oh, how i'm gonna make this happen or how it's like no just make it make it in a write it in a way which is fun which makes you feel good even if what makes you feel good is not realistic because it's not about being realistic or not it's about creating that good feeling for that situation for that circumstance so yeah guys thank you so much i will see you in the next video bye